Hello guys, welcome back to another quick video of daily hacks. So here is my setup and I'm talking in earlier video that I will do something with this uh, welcome digitizer because I have a chance to replace battery which is I have a chance to break my key to broke my keyboard and I have a chance to get this welcome digitizer unit although I already have one because I replaced keyboard this time is a is a second time now so back um, i'm not sure about years ago years or two years ago that i replaced the keyboard first time i haven't had that much knowledge about welcome digitizer or even i square c and stuff so today i have a chance to do that i have a knowledge that i can do that so i take that chance oops cricket <laughs> So here I have two PC. This one is my Lenovo Yogabook. This one is a Samsung NF208. Not gonna go into detail, but I will use this as a capture machine. Here I use a program called Logic Sniffer uh, OLS. Uh, okay, Logic Sump is UMP. And I don't have nice and fancy logic analyzer. I just use the Arduino Uno as a logic analyzer and and a lot of N. It's actually working as you can see. And this is a power up sequence of Wacom digitizer. Although Arduino Uno does not have that much memory to record more data. This is just what I get when I use trigger and it's automatically triggered when my yoga book turned on and sending uh, data to initialize the welcome digitizer and I can actually get some of the data here so I'm gonna try to capture that again but this time I'm gonna change the way of the trigger but I'm gonna use uh, so I'm gonna expand you a little bit too because they have a really useful feature here mask and volume the mask is to select which pin to use a trigger and value if you take which is mean that it's a logic one you need if you want logic zero just left the value right there so i'm gonna un unmask on the channel two and three here i renamed to sca and sda and i'm gonna take on channel four and channel fours i assume that it could be uh interrupt pin that will send signal back to computer when we put the pen on the digitizer is trick the computer not is a trigger not trick trigger the computer via IRQ and I will use this as trigger as well so let's try to capture it's gonna wait until we got that signal so come here I have the terminal open up and it's running an EV test of this uh, welcome digitizer and I also have this pen that I use to drawing as you can see in uh, wallpaper in the that's one that I'm drawing that really nice Gaugura okay let me get back to here so I'm gonna try to make some even by putting the pen under that digitizer board so yep and let's see what we have got here okay by far it's nothing except that you can see this pin is go low the reason is as you can see there are a lot of even happening the interrupt is not filing uh i mean it is sending data but it's really fast but we just not lucky enough to catch one of them so let's try again but let's try again so this time i'm gonna put a pin under that so it can have yeah even a lot of even let's see if it can trigger yet yeah, we caught some of these so let's take a look at that okay so so here's the uh, first one is a uh, read a uh, read request so let me use a uh, analyzer again
and we have some data too. Oh, we have some neck. So uh, my screen is too small. So this part here is a read, uh, sorry, read request. So we send the zero by thirteen. Is actually, um, I'm I'm not going to show you, but this is a request command sending to a device with address of zero by zero nine. But zero by zero nine is actually seven bit address, and the last bit right here is not actually last bit. It's the first bit. I'm not sure. It's a LSB on. I don't know. Maybe B zero. This bit indicate read or write. If it's bringing low, it means zero. It mean it's asking master device, which is my laptop. It's asking to write something to the slav device. But in this case, it's pulling up, which is mean that my laptop want to read something from the device. So it's just calling name. Hey, welcome. Are you there? I want to read the data from you. So if it's respond like this, which is yes, I'm here. So it's act. But sometimes it just have some. Maybe I'm not sure that this is a interpreter error of this uh, analyzer. But sometimes it can miss. It depend on lucky, how you luck, how uh, lucky you are. And yeah, this is some data. As you can see, zero by twelve. This one is request for write. Maybe write some data. I'm not sure. Register. Oh, uh, I'm not sure about that. Because I don't have data sheet in hand, but I do have a code in hand. Not, I'm not going that day because right now I'm actually working on that. I have the code right here. I'm currently working on the device tree to configure the interrupt stuff and the pin stuff, and I need to test out because yeah, I can guess the pin out of this one. So I'm gonna update soon on my own website because I take. I not take. I took photo of this one. This is exactly the same, but this one is a little bit older and is look uh, crappier because it's outside for years now. And I take the uh, sorry. I took photo of this board and actually label each pin where is like number one through six, and also additionally uh, a VCC and ground. And by the way, this guy running three point three volts. That's why I'm gonna use this thing and play with my uh, F1C100S. As you can see, I already print the schematic of Lishi Pi Nano, so I can play with it a lot easier. I don't need to just I just look at the paper. I don't need to open up the the other sheet. So okay, I'm gonna end this video now. See you guys soon on the next video, and don't forget to visit my website because. There will be more or update information right there. So, again, guys, bye bye. See you in the next video.